Hi, we're going to talk to you about one of the most important muscles in the role of back pain and what you can do right now at home to help yourself. However, we always recommend you consult a healthcare professional before undertaking any exercise as often pain can be a sign of an underlying damage to the spine itself. So, what is psoas and what does it do? Psoas starts at the front of the low back, it travels downwards and sidewards, goes through the pelvis and it actually anchors onto the top of your leg bone. So this means that if you're lying on your back and psoas contracts, it either lifts your legs up or it produces a sit-up. Yes, and as the muscle is actually anchored to the low back, eventually it can create back pain. And that's the reason why at the gyms they use back cradles for doing sit-ups. This helps to avoid injury to the back caused by psoas. But there is also another way this muscle can cause problems. Yes, so psoas is also known as a hip flexor. It shortens when we sit. This means that when we stand up, those short muscles pull on our lower backs. And in fact, anything which shortens psoas can put our lower backs at risk. So when you think about it, does that mean certain lifestyles could pose a problem? Yes, certainly. Our lifestyles are far more sedentary than they used to be. We sit for long periods of time, either on the bus, train or car when we commute into work, or even when we're at our desks for long periods of time, some eight to ten hours. When we come home, we're sitting in front of the TV, and then even at the weekend, some of us might go to the gym or sit on a bike. So when we think we're doing our back, our back some good, we're actually not. So I see, we're doing a lot more sitting than we actually think. No wonder the uh, muscles get shorter. So try and break this up as much as you can. Think about walking to really stretch out those muscles, and if you're able, try jogging or swimming as they will also stretch out the hip flexors. And if you don't want to do any of that, try lying flat on your back twice a day for five minutes. But remember, that needs to be done regularly to make a difference. So now here is a great exercise which really focuses on the hip flexors. Do remember, always consult a healthcare professional for advice first. In this video, your left knee is down on the cushion and your right is forward. With your left arm, reach up and over your head. You'll feel a stretch on your left thigh at the front and along the side. If at any point you feel pain, just stop. Do it slowly and repeat 10 times.